All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually kind of serious. Might want to spread this around a little bit. You need to ask yourself why George Soros is buying firearm stock. Now, there are a lot of rumors going around that these guys are going to start doing a bill, and they've already proposed several bills. I don't know whether or not they pass in the United States or not. That if you are shot with a firearm, you can sue the firearm manufacturer. In other words, if you're shot by a police officer, you can sue the firearm manufacturer. If you are shot by uh, a gunman on the streets, a concealed carrier, you can sue the manufacturer. And I think this, that this is what's related. These guys are going to basically go in, put this bill into action, watch you know the numbers hit the ground, and then buy low, and then buy up all these gun manufacturing companies, and then that's how they're going to basically close them. And then the big, and then he's going to basically sell off the major gun companies. That are, well, first off, this doesn't make a lot of sense, seeing that the major gun companies. The major, major gun companies, Smith & Wesson, Colt, uh, Ruger, etc., are actually owned and operated mostly by the larger banks. This is true. Uh, Beretta is actually owned by the, the uh, bank. Jeez, um, I'm trying to think who. Um, America Bank or whatever it is owns like two or three companies. Any major big business is basically owned and operated by a uh, bank. So this actually makes me wonder why this guy here is buying a firearm stock if it's not going to hit the toilet so that he can, you know, buy low and sell high after it comes back or or for some reason he thinks it's going to go much higher. Um, so this is what it's actually saying. George Soros pops up in relation to stock purchases in, in the financial world. Uh, so, I mean, it, 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 it's, bad, it's bad, folks. I mean, this guy's actually going after everything that basically is um, involved in the guns, not just the gun manufacturers, but CCI ammunition, federal cartridges, Savage Arms, and more, Blackhawk, Bushnell, uh, they got Vista Outdoors, Winchester, uh, Olin Corporation, uh, uh, wooden stock manufacturers, and they got like Arch Coal and Peabody Energy. Um, so, this is actually kind of concerning because this means that they're going to basically try to power grab that. Once they have control of the stock, they can control the company. And that is not something you and I want to see. Because at that point, they can privatize it, folks, to only law enforcement, to only military. And that's how these guys buy and sell and basically bankrupt uh, industries. Remember, they did it in the 90s and early 2000s with individual companies. They bought and sold, they stripped, and then they did that. Now they're doing it with the actual private companies. And that's what they plan on doing with entire industries that do not submit to uh, government will. I mean, let me go up one second. One more. Come on, hurry up. Hang on, my internet's acting up. Down one, down one, down one. There we go. Winchester Ammunition, Vista Outdoors, Blackhawk, Bushnell, CCI Ammunition, Federal, Savage, more. Along with Olin Corp, Scale Stock Ownership, everything else. I mean, this guy is basically going on a power binge for, no doubt, the bigger bankers, which basically use him as a puppet and as a frontman. That's basically what he is. He, he, he is a front man for their operations. So this is actually very concerning, folks. And I guarantee you the reason they're buying up these stocks is so they can privatize the companies, coordinate the rules with the larger manufacturers, 
and say, okay, now that we have control of 25, 30, 50 percent of the industry, now we can privatize it to only military and law enforcement. Now civilians, boom, you cannot have your ammunition. They did it in the 90s with other companies. They stripped bare and they sold off the stock for pennies on the dollar and they made shitloads of money. They can reverse that, make a shitload of money, and then turn the industry private or under government control, which is basically what their plan is anyways. So I guarantee you this, folks. Thank you.